Hey, what's up, y'all? Today, I want to kind of help y'all understand the different branches of law enforcement to, you know, to further help you decide which agency is best suits you. Um, I will start off by saying the first thing you need to understand is no matter what, what branch of law enforcement you're dealing with, it can be dangerous. The stress levels are very high, so you need to if you're going to go in this game, you need to go in with thick skin. Um, yeah, definitely have thick skin. Don't, don't be the type to take, every, take things to the heart. If you can't leave your home troubles at home, I wouldn't even get involved with that, this field. That's about the realest thing I can tell you. With that being said, if you can see yourself patrolling the city, Passing out parking tickets, pulling up behind people, pulling them over for violating uh, laws and regulations. Be a cop, by all means. That's what they do. They patrol the city. They'll be the ones passing out the parking tickets. Uh, Sometimes you'll see them doing security. You'll see them in banks or supermarkets, just standing around, just keeping an eye on things. Be a cop. If you're... If you can see yourself on the highway doing highway patrol, which is similar to being a cop, but you're more so you're on the highway majority of the time. Be a state trooper. Patrol the highway. See somebody speeding doing 120 on the highway? Pull them over. Give them a ticket. That's what state troopers do. <laughs> oh, and, and a lot of times you'll see those guys over there at the way station with the 18-wheeler trucks inspecting the trucks and everything. Be a state trooper. Uh, if you're comfortable with being on the inside, when I say inside, I mean the prison, be a CO. Be a correction officer. Because correction officers, I mean, not to be funny, but all they do really is babysit. You know? It, it's, really, it, it's really not, it's not a hard job, be honest with you. I don't think any law enforcement agency is really a hard job unless you make it hard on yourself. I mean, you, you're a CEO, you're babysitting, basically. She, you pretty much you just you, you keep an eye on these guys, make sure they ain't hurting one another, hurting themselves. Uh, just supervise. You, you're a supervisor, basically. But if you have a problem with telling people what to do, if you're one of those types, you don't like telling people what to do, then nah, that job's not for you. If you're going to let people walk all over you, then I wouldn't advise you to be a correction officer. Because be a correction officer, I mean, like any other law enforcement agency, you need to be able to be that form of authority. You need to be able to verbally express yourself. You know, you need to know how to talk to people and and get them to do what it is that they need, that you need them to do, you know, according to laws and regulations, of course. If you can't, if you're not the type that, that can tell people what to do, then it's not for you. And also, be respectful. Definitely be respectful. I mean, to get respect, what you got to do? You got to show it, right? You show it. That's how you get people to do. That's how you get people to respect you. You show it. It's just that simple. I wish a lot of cops heard this. I hope a lot of cops see this video and take heed to what I'm saying. It'd be a lot less drama and chaos going out going on out here. I'm seeing too much BS on the news these days. Not to get off topic, but I just got to put it out there. It's kind of it's disgusting, especially me being in law enforcement myself. I mean, it's disgusting. It's making me look bad. But anyway, moving on. If you can see yourself. Passing out warrants, uh, well, you know, doing warrants, coming to people's houses for, let me just throw something out there, maybe, maybe they got a warrant for their arrest for child support. Just throw that out there. If, if you don't mind being that form of authority, be a sheriff. That's what they do. Sometimes you see sheriffs on like courthouses or. You know, but for the most part, that's what they do. They It's mostly the sheriffs that come to your house and, you know, get you for child support. Stuff like that. They'll be the, 
They're the ones that deal with that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You know, I, I'm just I, I gave you a pretty much a, a basic layout of the different law enforcement agencies and what they do. But if you if you have any questions specifically, you know, feel free to ask. I have no problem with that. Hope I helped you. Y'all be cool.